Hello, hello. And welcome to Haven Island. And today we're going to take care of the Silent Assassin Suit Only Challenge Master Mode. Uh, I'm not going to show you the challenge pages there, but I am going to show you all the other challenges that we will also achieve during this run through, which will include down the hatch, which will also get you uh, someone can hurt themselves and hold my hair, and that will be to take out Lud Miller. And then for uh, Tyson, we are going to poison him, hence bringing some lethal poison with us, which will get us tasteless, traceless, and common side effects. And for our third target, Stephen, we are just going to shoot him in the head because he's a blooming nightmare so far. I haven't found a nice easy way to get to him yet. So we're just going to shoot him in the head, which will get us the straight shot challenge. Uh, we will also pick up a couple of feats and discoveries as well. If you grab the banana at one point, uh, I believe there is uh, something like a, a, a great uh, source of potassium. And while we're taking out Ludmilla, we will also take care of the disrupt importment. Welcome to the Maldives, 47. The Haven Island staff is ready to receive you under your assumed identity as Tobias Reaper, a professional thief looking to retire from a life of crime. Ludmilla Vitrova can be found in the public sections of the island, primarily tending to client needs. Stephen Bradley alternates between looking after a strict training regimen and working on a small private island while Tyson Williams roams his large villa estate at the back of the island. This is it, 47. Eliminating the three owners of Haven should buy Miss Hall the time needed to do a full penetration and retrieval of the Providence partner data. Right, so, first thing we're gonna do is we're going to jump straight off of here as soon as we're able and this is our accommodation we're going to run directly underneath it and to the very next hut which is Jason Portman's hut so what we're going to do is run directly underneath this hut as well and right out to the far side here and we're going to grab the ledge and pull ourselves up and lock pick our way into Jason Portman's bathroom and then what we're going to do is we're going to distract him into the bathroom, knock him out, hide him in that wicker basket over in the corner there. And that will then uh, force uh, Ludmilla's routine basically will alter slightly and she will enter into the here. Where we will then drop her through a trap door in the floor. Which will become more apparent in a moment. We're just waiting now for Jason Portman to make his way in from the back of the hut there. He's just been out sunbathing himself. But once he comes into this living space area, we're going to throw the um, fire extinguisher we've just grabbed off the wall into the bathroom. That'll get his attention. Wow. He will then come in, make sure you're crouched and hugging the wall, otherwise he will spot you. Like Close the door behind him, knock him out, hang grab on. his hut key. That's Jason Portman, former CEO of Quantum Leap and current CEO of Much Talk, the disreputed social media network currently involved in a user data scandal. So once he's in the basket there, we're going to come to the trap door on the floor and we're going to remove the safety pin. And that sets up the uh, Lud Miller kill and make our escape. So our next target will be Tyson and he's at the back of the map in a heavily guarded villa sort of compound type thing. But there is a, a relatively quick and easy way to get in and get to him and get out again. And he's actually not the hardest target to get. 
Lud Miller is probably the easiest, but we're just going to run all the way around, basically around the edge of the map. Just straight along the beach, basically. Um, we're going to stop by this bendy tree in the bushes here, pull out our silenced pistol, and we're going to take out a camera or two. We want to get the one on the other side as well. There we go. We're going to put our camera away, uh, our gun away even, and continue on. And we will come to a gap in the fencing on the top of the wall here. So we're going to leap over, we're going to grab this rolled up newspaper, we're going to knock out the maid just up the stairs here, run up, retrieve our newspaper, grab the maid, and drag her into the bushes just down by the bottom of the stairs here and she won't be found so what we need to do is get into the villa and upstairs and it took me ages and ages to figure this out and eventually I ended up having to take the strategy from somebody else just how to get into the villa and their idea was just bowl straight in essentially so that's what we're gonna do Except I have timed it badly, and there is a guard there, but he will move away. There he goes. And we're just going to run straight in, crouching all the way, through the doors, to the right, around the side of the stairs, and we'll use these side banister areas as cover, up to the top of the stairs here, and then we're going to go through the door directly on our left. This is Tyson's bedroom, and we're going to use our lethal poison on his medication Two and just as we do me. that Good Lud work, Miller falls through the Lud trap Miller door the has been permanently retired. so that's the hold my hair challenge uh, someone could hurt themselves challenge and I can't actually remember what the actual assassination challenge is called now but that's three of your assassination challenges taken care of all in one foul swoop. All we've got to do is make our way, retrace our steps exactly the way we came, back down to the ground. And we're gonna hug in these bushes where we hid the maid. And we're gonna stand just here, pull out our gun, and we're gonna take out the surveillance system. And this is where all professionality goes out the window. You can see just how bad a shot I am. Because this takes quite a while this is how long it actually takes me to get the shot. I do actually fire three bullets and the first two do hit the surveillance system but for some reason it wouldn't bust. It was only the third shot that would do it. So there we go, we finally got that. So we're gonna put our gun away and hop back over the wall. That's our second kill all set up now. Although that one, it does take a while to come to uh, full attrition or oh, I think that's the right word anyway it it takes a long time because we've got to wait for the doctor to receive the call make his way from way over the other side of the map and get to uh, Tyson and give him the examination How are you, sir? Uh, so in the meantime we're gonna go off and get Stephen who is again on the far side of the map he does move around a fair bit. He has a really, really long routine as well. And unfortunately, we get, we miss our opportunity and we have to wait. And we have to wait a long time for him. But we're just going to make our way all the way over to the far end of the island here. And just by the gym is the restricted island that's connected by the little bridge. And we need to get across here. Now this is, the whole area is now a trespassing zone from beyond that little bridge there. So I that recommend at this Stephen point... That is Stephen Bradley, notorious hacker, chief programmer at Haven, and rumoured to be quite reckless in his behaviour. Yeah, as I was saying, I recommend at this point dropping a save and maybe cutting out Diana's tongue. So as soon as everyone's got their backs to you, you're just going to use the bridge for a bit of cover, though it's not much and make our way across the stream or the ocean and into the bushes. Now this is where it starts getting really, really complicated and tricky. We're gonna very, very, very slowly, as slowly as you can, move our way through these bushes until we come to a pathway and that waitress. 
we need to take out that waitress and drag her unconscious body into the bushes. I recommend this side of the bushes because there's more of them. Uh, what we're essentially going to do here is <laughs> basically we're going to wipe out half the people on this little island including all the waiters and several of the guards and we're going to do that using our rolled up newspaper so we're just going to knock her out drag her into the bushes nice and deep into the back as far as we can get her because our target will come past here with a bodyguard so that's him uh, her out the way should i say there are now two more waiters up in the hut in the center of the island and one pretty much stays there and one moves around a bit so when the more mobile of the waiters moves away i think he goes down to the beach to pray or something like that we're left with just one so again using our trusty newspaper we're going to knock him out and we're going to hide his body in this freezer right here and if you pick up that banana right there that will get you a good source of potassium feet as well so we're just going to make our way back down the way we came back into the bushes if we can get in there just wait for the target to go past we're not quite ready for him yet So now he's clear, our next target will be the other waiter who's just making his way back up there now. Um, for this guy what we're going to do is we're going to use the radio that's just here on our right. We're going to turn that off, that's going to distract him and we can knock him out as well then. And again place him in the freezer. So when he comes over to investigate, he'll have his back to you, so we're just going to run up the stairs and knock him out. And click. Yeah, click. There we go, retrieve our uh, newspaper. Hide him in the freezer there. There we go, so we've just got one more guard to go now. He's going to be entirely on his onesies. So he's not going to be too much of a problem to take care of. So we're just going to make our way back down the stairs and to the left. And we're just going to hug the bushes as much as possible. Sneak up behind him and knock him out. Drag him into the bushes as well. So that's anyone within earshot or eye shot will now be a, who could be a problem. Completely eliminated and out of our problem way I'm sure there are faster ways to do this I have seen much faster ways to take out Steven but I'm not good enough to do them that way so we're just gonna drop the shotgun here as well because we don't need that and now as I said earlier where we've missed our opportunity when when the target walked past us that was basically part of our opportunity there but we're not quite ready yet so we now have to wait for him to go through his whole routine at the gym and speaking to the scuba diver and all the rest of it before he comes back to the island, does a lap of the island and then makes his way into the hut in the centre and he will sit on a sun lounger for a few minutes and that's when we're going to sneak up behind him and shoot him in the back of the head. And during this period while we're waiting as you can see Tyson Williams eliminated excellent work 47 just one more target to go so as you can see that was the death of Tyson Williams and which will get you the tasteless traceless challenge and I can't actually remember the name of the other challenge now as well. This game's t this level's too new for me. I haven't committed it all to memory as yet. But our final target is now making his way to the hut. So all we've got to do is wait for him to go past us. We're going to knock his bodyguard out with the newspaper. Pull out our gun, shoot him in the head and make good our escape. So they're just going past us. We're going to wait here 
for a little while. I'm going to wait for Stephen to actually get into the sun lounger. But I was also waiting for the bodyguard to move. But he didn't move. So uh, I sort of decided to just go for it in the end. You know, I, all caution went to the wind. I thought, it, it, you know, it's only one more guard to take care of. If I just knock him out quickly, then I'm free to just shoot this guy in the head. So that's exactly what I do. I just use the newspaper, knock out the guard, pull out our silenced pistol, so shoot that's our target. Bradley taken care of. Well done. And that will get you the straight shot that's challenge. All we need to do from here. Miss Hall should be able to extract the information needed from the Haven servers. Good work, Fortison. So I'm just gonna pull the bodies down under this pier or whatever this outcropping is, decking. I'm gonna retrieve my newspaper. I am trying to retrieve the gun as well, but it doesn't seem possible. So we're going to have to leave that there and hope for the best. Pretty much the same with the bodies down here. I'm, I'm, there's nowhere really to hide them. I'm just going to pull the bodyguard back a little bit. And now all we've got to do is get our way off this little island. What I should have done was got the um, scooter key. I think it's called a scooter. Or, you know, the, the speedboat thingy that that green thing over there on the border and we could have made our escape that way now there are a number of keys around for it I believe the most obvious one is on the scuba instructor but I forgot to grab that so we've got to sneak our way back past all the guards back towards the bridge and as you can see I'm moving incredibly slowly because they're all right there So once we're past a couple of them, the other one has moved away a little bit. We're going to get back into position on the far side of the bridge here. And as soon as all three of them have their back to us again, we're going to dash across the water. We're now safe and we're going to run straight back to the exit where we came in. I also noticed just on the left there, there is a secret exit. that I'm guessing entails having to be dressed as the scuba diver to use. I'll try that out. But there you go, that is the Silent Assassin Suit Only Challenge, Master Mode, plus all of these challenges popping up as well. I have been Anubis, and I will see you all in the next video.